Hi everyone, hi, I'm Jill, founder of Kids Baking Club, and I wanna show you how to make pumpkin pie spice. It's a spice that you can buy in the grocery store, but I have heard that some people can't find it where they live, so I wanted to show you how to make it yourself. It's the actual spices that they use when they're making pumpkin pie. But a lot of people use this spice, this group of spices, when they're making pumpkin bread and pumpkin snickerdoodles, which I just made recently, and anything having to do with fall favorite flavors. So I wanna show you how you can make your own pumpkin pie spice, keep it in your cupboard, and then it's ready for whenever a recipe calls for it. So let me show you how. And just go to our blog at kidsbakingclub.com and click the blog and just type in the search bar, pumpkin pie spice, and then you'll find it. And this is how you can print the recipe and then you have it for you. So I also want to tell you a little bit about the spices, which is kind of fun. So the first thing you're going to do is to take one tablespoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon actually is, comes from a tree bark, and this is from the inner parts of a cinnamon tree. Did you know that there was a cinnamon tree? And what they do is they grind it down and they make this ground cinnamon. The next thing you're going to do is add one teaspoon of ginger. And ginger is a ground dried um, flavor that comes from ginger root. It's actually a root that's found underground and it's used in tons of spices. And if you love sushi, they usually give you ginger with your sushi. And so when they dry the root out, they actually ground it and make this wonderful um, ginger. The next is a nutmeg. And nutmeg is actually a seed from the nutmeg tree. Again, they grind it, they dry it, they grind it, and then they bring it all together. And this is allspice. You know, this is actually a Jamaican pepper. It's found in southern Mexico, and they it's these little tiny balls. They look like berries, and what they do is they dry them out, and they grind them, and they make this allspice. It's really amazing. It smells really unique, really different. I like it. And then this is cloves, and sometimes you can actually buy the cloves without it being ground because people use these to do make ornaments, like they poke them into oranges, and it's really a flower bud that's from a tree that they you find in Indonesia, and it's a beautiful smell. People love the smell of cloves. So you're gonna mix that together, and just take a spoon and mix it all together, and this makes the pumpkin pie spice that you will taste if you have pumpkin pie or lots of other different kind of recipes. And what I do is you can either use the jar from your old pumpkin pie spice or just take a plastic container and put it in because you do want to keep it airtight and you want to keep it into a dry, um, dark cupboard so that it doesn't get bad. It will last a really long time. All right, I'm just going to put this on, snap it on. Make sure that you label <laughs> on the sides so that you know exactly what is in. And there you have pumpkin pie spice. Wasn't that fun? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.